Yeah, Pete. Good morning, YouTube. Press here. Just a uh, quick introduction if you're new to my channel. I'm 36 Full Press, and on this channel, I like to uh, teach about dice setting, dice control. Um, uh, there's a lot of stuff. I like to uh, I like to play from the dark side. Uh, I like to hedge my money, make a quick profit, and get out of dodge. Um, I'm not big into uh, sticking around and giving the casino back their money. That's not my mo. My mo is get in, hit them real quick, and get out. I like to uh, set the dice, try to uh, get as many numbers as possible, and when I'm throwing. I pull my front down, leave my uh, my back, my DC money up back behind, throw a seven, get out, get paid, move on to the next. Um, in this uh, in this segment, I'm going to use a blender with quarters, twenty five dollars, uh, thirty on the six and eight is the only one. We're gonna try to get all the numbers covered up, and then we're gonna try to pull ten dollars per shooter, take all of our money down, and get on with it. So. Welcome to my channel. If you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, go over to Vince Armani's channel. Mr. Vince Armani. You'll see him on uh, YouTube. Click on his community tab. Scroll all the way through on that community tab. Look for everybody that's uh, that's got a YouTube channel. And let's uh, help grow the craps community. Until later, you guys know what to do. Press out. What up, YouTube? Press here. Quick video, uh, if you're new to my channel, that's probably the first time you've seen uh, a weird little intro. Uh, I'm gonna try to do something a little different, try to be a little bit more personable. Um, it's not as easy as everybody thinks it is to uh, put yourself in front of a camera, but you know, it is what it is. I am who I am. I have nothing to hide here, so. Anyways, welcome to my channel. Uh, I try to have fun. I try to joke around, it's, it's kind of a, a fun game. So let's have fun doing it. There's a lot of great people out here messing around. I uh, apologize for the furnace. I have moved things around trying to uh, reduce the, the noise, but it is 30 degrees, 30 something degrees here in Cleveland today. They're calling for snow tomorrow, which is amazing. So I have my stocking hat and sweatshirt on ready to roll. But anyways, uh, quick little introduction. If you haven't seen my channel, go back, check out my blender videos, uh, pretty simple. Um, quick introduction, start with 25 on the don't pass. 25 on the don't pass, I run all my money through the DC, right? So the blender, traditional blender, I only place the fronts. So if I get a, a nine on the back, I place the front. If I get an eight, I place the front, right? So that, that's, the, that's the general blender. The pressure, I'm putting it on all of them. I'm buying the four and 10. And the idea is I'm gonna turn this blender into a grinder and we're just gonna grind it. And I'm looking for $50. As soon as I get my $50 here, that I've made 50 bucks from that shooter, I'm taking everything down. Taking it down and if, and if I want, I can go right back on that same shooter. But I'm gonna take 50 bucks, I'm gonna rack 50 bucks, and then I'm going to uh, start again. So that's, that's the basic premise of how, uh, how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna shoot real quick from this side. I've been practicing shooting stick right side just because it's, you know, you, you can't just be a one man band. You can't just show up with one way of doing your, your game. You can't just shoot from stick left, stick, uh, stick right, from the end, your own dice set. Um, I have talked to Sane Bet. He uh, reached out to me and said, hey Press, when are we, uh, when are we doing another challenge? Uh, I'm known for my 36 roll challenges. I like to do the challenge. Not many people like to watch them, but that's for a shooter. Uh, it's for the shooter to learn the sets, to uh, learn what works for them, to work on their throw. Um, I have never heard anybody, no one's ever came back to me and said, hey man, that 36 roll challenge, it really made my uh, throw horrible. Uh, it's just one of those things that the more you practice, the better you're going to get. So I'm going to, um, just gonna mess around. I'm gonna work on a couple different sets here. Just, I don't really know. Um, I have one, one or two that I've kind of developed from this side, but I wanna kind of switch it up and today would be a good day to do it. So let's try, uh, let's try something different here. We'll do a little cross six action from the top. 
and see where we can go with it. That was a little long, but I want to pin it in that corner. That's an 11 yo. That's an 11 yo. Not a good start from the dark side. Well, at least I know where I'm at. Changed up a lot of stuff here. I crammed my table over into the corner, which made it a little bit tight against the wall. It's kind of hard to maneuver the stick. But at the same time, I'm kind of trying, I'm going to build a little uh, craps uh, area over here in the corner. So maybe I can get a little bit better audio and uh, see if I can adjust the walls and stuff a little bit. Make it look a little cleaner. A little bit more professional as I'm approaching 800 subscribers. I like to uh, try to do something a little different here. So I'm working like a 6'2", six, 6'4", six, uh, just based off of my throw. I'm thinking that might uh, might give me some numbers that I want to work with and I'll adjust accordingly. I'm really wanting to pin it in that corner though. I don't want a lot of action on the dice once they release. That's too much action right there, but I'll take the 9. That's a 5'4", 9. Used to being on the other side. There we go. There's that. So I just go quarter back behind. I really don't know what to do with this stick. It's kind of like in the way here from this side. All right. Not placing the point as of yet, because if I hit a seven right now, this pays that. I mean, it's always got to keep in mind where where your payout's at. Really trying to pin it right in there. It's a hard four. And another thing I've noticed shooting from an opposite side, I'm right handed, shooting across your body, keeping it low and trying to dart it into the corner is, uh, is a little bit better action. So I'm buying that four there. I know I got a low battery on my phone, so I need to, uh, need to get with it here today. Six, three, nine. All right, this comes here. This goes off, lose this. Place that nine. Another, uh, don't pass that. Sam's supposed to be over today. There's a box car. There's a box car, and the reason why I like to work this set, I'm trying to get my numbers, because I might incorporate the field in this down the road, so I like to check my numbers. So that's just a push now, would that be playing double or triple in the, in the field? Depending on where you're at. So I got a four, I got a nine, I got a 12, I got an eight right here. Come on, baby. Got the eight. So really is trying to get our numbers, trying to get our position. We want to be very versatile at the table. You don't want to walk up with this idea and then not happen for you and then you're stuck. Or you can't play because you can't play from somewhere else. There's a yo again, so I am hitting a lot of field numbers. That yo is kind of hurting me right now on that DC. It's hurting me on the DC, but I'm gaining information. So if I was playing a field, I'd have lost the DC by not paying the field. All right, there's that hard four. There's that hard four, that's what I was looking for. So, this goes here. Lose this, but I get paid 50 for one. So there's 50 for one. Drop one, rack one. So there's 25 bucks, but I'm way behind on uh, that 11 on the come out, that 11 and then that 11 there. So we'll keep playing. Just gotta keep a mental note of where we're at. Yeah, this blender pressure is, I'm, I'm hitting all my numbers. I'm covering every one of them. There's snake eyes. 
That would have paid another double in the bubble. So I'm just completely destroying the field right now, which is a good sign for me. So when I want to start pressuring it, I get paid right here, 25 bucks. So I'm about 50 bucks there, so I'm about even. Two quarters and I lost, I just got it back. And there's my seven right there. So we're just evens. That's all that's all we are for right now. So that's the idea. I'm getting I'm getting to incorporate a roll with a chance to win some money, but everything's just paid now. Everything's just paid. Start right back over with another shooter. Um, I can incorporate the field with this. I can do all kinds of stuff, but the idea is I want to pressure every number and get paid. Uh, six and eight are the only ones that kind of suck because I got to put 30. I got to get 30 on there to get 35 to make my $10 profit. So that's, that's the only ones that, for me, are a little frustrating. Just because, I mean, I can put 24 on there, but I'm making a couple bucks. It is what it is. Pick and choose what you want to do. I'm going to leave that puck down there because I kind of like to have something to shoot over top of. And we'll go ahead and roll it one more time. 6-2, six, 6-4, six, across 6. Doesn't really matter what you use on the inside. Or at least for me, where I'm throwing out here. Just trying to work on my landing zone. Has a perfect shot right there. Four one five. Not much action after it. Just kind of dropping it in the hole there. That's what I'm looking to do. And this is really kind of an awkward position for me. That's why I really want to work on it because it seems like the right side is always open. Left side, everybody's standing over there because everybody wants to be the shooter. that yo is absolutely destroying the field today. See right now it's I'm not really too worried about what I'm winning and what I'm losing. I'm gaining information in this practice session. Alright I know where my throws at, I know where my landing zone wants to be at, I'm working on my grip, constant release, keeping the dice low, pinning it in the corner and seeing what kind of numbers I get. That was just a fun long, but I got that eight. Just really pinned it. I pinned it tight right on that rubber. Got the eight. Got 30 bucks right here. That'll pay 35. Put another one in the DC. I'm always thinking, if that, if that seven comes before I'm ready, well, where will I be at? Right now, I'm just at even money minus five bucks. There's a four. I like the fours and tens with the pressure because I'm getting paid two to one. Especially with this set, I can hit it. I can hit the fours and tens. Or with any set that you can find that you can do such. Mm. Let's go there. I might be doing a 36 rule challenge, getting people to shoot in different areas with different landing zones. There's that hard 10. And I'm also thinking about doing another one of uh, trying to hit hard ways. Developing your own set to hit your own hard ways. So I got fours and tens both bought. I'll let the dealers worry about that. You can do the uh, dollar in thing, four dollar after, however they want to do it. For uh, for video's sake, uh, I mean, it's depending on your on your place that you play at. I'm not too worried about it right now. There's that three craps. So I'll just pick up a paycheck right here. Well, 25 action right in my pocket. That would have paid the field and the young come. So let's get it wrapped up here. This is a general idea. If you have any questions, check out my other Blender videos. Uh, you shoot me a message, I, I always respond. There's that three craps again. Just 
pinning the shit out of it, really dialing in on my landing zone. Landing zone is very important. Uh, a lot of people disregard your landing zone. Uh, it really plays into how you throw. And if you get your landing zone and your throw intact, uh, it's gonna be hard for any casino to stop you. And I have a lot of people that, uh, that I've worked with that come back and say, yeah, it's really helped them. There's that box car. It's all about just dropping it in the right spot. That left one was a little long. That's a 6 4 10. Left one got away from me a little bit, but we still got a good result. 6 4 10. So we're going to lose this one. Right here, we're going to get paid 50 bucks. However, they work it out 49, 50 for one, so on and so forth. It doesn't really matter. So right now, we're, we're covered. I've made my money on this shooter or for my shot. I can do one of two things. Um, I would just take it down, take everything down and start over. Um, <clears throat> but for this video, I'm just gonna get a couple more rolls in because it's gonna be a short video anyways. I just want to uh, make sure that I, I got this explained well, that you understand what's going on. A lot of people say I can't play with quarters. Uh, it's too much money. Um, it really isn't too much money because if you look at my rack, I, I've only used a couple hundred bucks, right? So it's 500, uh, I've only used 250, 300 bucks. I haven't even touched my blues besides that one there. So you, you can play with a, a small amount of money. You just have to have a good chunk of change to uh, be ready to roll with it. If you wanna pull down or press something, you don't wanna be standing there with not enough money to do anything. Uh, you kinda gotta have money to make money in this game. So you don't have to use a lot of money because it's paying for itself. A lot of people think you need a lot of money to play this way. There you go. That's a good pen right there for the snake eyes. That was a real good pen shot. What I mean is I'm, I'm pinning the dice right on the rubber. I'm, I'm trapping it. It's another quarter. So in this instance, what I do is I just say take it down. Take everything down. All right. Take it all down. And then start over. So I'm already up. Just take my take my DC or my don't pass and start over again. Still got a five, and then I just keep playing. I made I made money. I'm up. Um, I don't stick around. It's never been my thing. I, I almost like I get antsy. I, I just get there. I have a goal in mind. Before I start every session, I know what I want to do and when I can get the hell out. So I make my play. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, I pull my money down and go somewhere else until it works out the way I want it to. Calculate my uh, my pay and get the fuck out of Dodge. I ain't trying to stick around. There's a 10, 6, 4, 10. Ah. 6, 4, 10. Oh, I'm supposed to have a don't pass in there. They don't come. There it goes. 6, 4, 10. Buy that one. And you start over. It's a little bit harder if you're shooting because you got to stick around until you hit your point. Then you pass the dice. You can just leave that on there and don't get it until a seven. It doesn't matter. Like that shot. There's a five right there. I got my point. Four, one, five. If this comes down. I lose this. I was supposed to have a DC on there. For some reason, I forgot. Again. That goes there, and then at this point, if I wanted to, I could just take my money down and call it a day. It's just one of those things that you can pick and choose however you want to play. You're not entitled to, uh, or you're not, you're not forced to be there. With contract bets, you have to stay. Um, if I'm shooting at any point, I can just take everything down and just roll until the seven comes or I hit my point or whatever. If I hit my point, I can just leave 
uh, you don't have to stay. It's all about what you want to do. You want to make a profit and you want to leave. A lot of people will call me and say, hey man, I was up and I should have listened. I was up 300 bucks and I walked away with $40. Or Scott called me and said, hey, I was up 320 bucks. I, I, I paid back in or I, I colored up, but then I decided to waste 20 bucks. So it's like he's getting there, but he's not quite there yet. And it's all part of like learning how to play the game. You're not there to play the game for fun. You can have fun later. If you want to make money and you want to make money consistently, it's a business. You got to have a business model. You got to get in, set your goals, hit your goals, get the fuck out. That's all I got for today. Hope you guys like what's going on here. Until later, you guys know what to do. Press out.